Hey, Hickok45 here. You guys seemed to enjoy my knife throwing the other day. Uh, I like to do that occasionally. And uh, I thought maybe you'd want to see me throw something larger. How's that, All right? Well, let's just try that. I'm going to throw this axe. Just kidding. Uh, I've not graduated throwing axes yet, but you never know what kinds of skills I might have hidden. Uh, actually, uh, I like knives too, as you know, and uh, and uh, have a few nice ones. Uh, maybe we'll we'll show sometime here. But uh, had an actual use for this one. Uh, this is a kind of a birthday present. Uh, had two birthday presents recently. Uh, you guys gave me 20,000 subscribers almost on my birthday, just before my birthday, a couple days ago. And uh, and my son uh, helped me buy this uh, Grand Spores Brooks axe made in Sweden. It's really hard for me to say that for some reason, but it's Grand Spores Brooks is the company, Swedish company. Yeah, I know it's not American made, but they're just really nice axes. This is the second uh, cutting tool I have from them. And uh, we were in Gatlinburg this week, and I uh, just couldn't resist this baby. I've always been a fan of double bitted axe. I've got my father's double bit axe that belonged to his father and grandfather that I've used my entire life and uh, I really like this one's really sharp uh, incredible edge uh, actually an amazing uh, piece of steel to say truth even the handle is just is just perfect it feels great in my large hands so but anyway I'll give you a little bit of a close-up on that if you're familiar with these these things they're kind of pricey there's no doubt about that this thing ran in the neighborhood of uh, 250 dollars so it's, it's not the kind of axe you just pick up at uh, Ace Hardware, although no good tool is cheap. But uh, these are really interesting uh, knives. They've been making these for over 100 years. And uh, Sweden tends to, to, do, to do a good job on things like this. Lots of trees over there, lots of experienced uh, lumbermen in that uh, part of the world. But anyway, I got it out here a minute ago, and, uh, and just occurred to me we might want to do a video. We had a tree kind of blow down here in the night where it broke off and so uh, I was going to kind of christen the old axe thought maybe you'd want to join us so what I'm going to try to do here is not take the whole tree down uh, this is close to the house actually so if it's out in the middle of the woods it wouldn't matter we'd leave it but I'm going to try to take this fork off here uh, if you've ever done much cutting you know cutting up pie is always a little bit of a challenge but uh, let's see what we can do here if this thing will cut now, I know what you're hoping. You're hoping it'll fall on my head and we'll catch that on video, right? At least as an outtake. Uh, let's see what we do here. Whoa. Yeah, that's pretty It's always awkward cutting up high. You might keep it from falling on John. Keep around here. Break his back. Watch out, Ginger. <laughs> Woo! There it went. All right. Hey, I like it. Works well. Anyway, Bransford's Brooks double bit axe. This is their big one. It's a long handle. It, uh, it does the job. I might have to take the whole thing down here eventually, but we'll leave it for now. So, a lot of people would consider a double bitted axe a little dangerous. Uh, kind of like a gun. Should have to have a carry permit or a waiting period to buy it. But not yet. Not in America. Life is good.